This is the teapot demo from the I2C DevLib library written by Jeff Rauberg. It takes the data from an MPU 6050 IMU, which contains a three axis gyroscope and accelerometer, and also a digital motion processor, which fuses the data from those two sensors, um, sends it to an Arduino Nano. And the demo consists of an Arduino sketch to retrieve the data from the DMP and a processing sketch to apply the data to rotate this airplane with an arrow on front. And you can see that it follows the rotation of the IMU very closely and it can handle rotations of greater than 360 degrees very easily. That's because the DMP returns quaternion data, which can handle rotations of any magnitude. We can see something interesting about the way the DMP uh, fuses the accelerometer and gyroscope data by restarting the demo. Right here, let's close it down. And if you watch the airplane, you'll see for the first, once it starts, for the first 8 to 10 seconds or so, you see drift around a vertical axis. That's pretty typical of data from a 6 degree of freedom IMU because the gyroscope data tends to give a lot of drift which you can correct for from accelerometer data, except accelerometers only give you data around the um, roll and pitch axis. They cannot give you data around the yaw axis. So you tend to get a lot of drift around the yaw axis from a 6 degree of freedom IMU, but the MPU 6050 DMP stops drifting around the yaw axis after about the first 8 to 10 seconds. So it contains some sort of calibration algorithm that takes the drift into account and corrects for it, which is pretty nifty.